Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I hope you all are doing absolutely well. So guys, in today's video, we are going to cover all the latest updates related to Wings 1. And the, these updates are the changes basically that are going to happen from November cycle. Okay. So in this video, we will talk about all the latest updates like the external certifications, like they have removed that step from step 1. And we will also see the updated dashboard in this video. Also, I will share some of the posts which are related to Wings 1 which uh, which are shared in Nomi and which you should know before attempting the November uh, cycle of Wings 1. So just before you start the video, I have already created one detailed video of the entire process about what is Wings 1 and how many times this exam occurs in TCS. So just in case if you are not aware of this, you can check that video. I will attach the link to that video in the description box. So let's now start with our first updates. Let's first discuss the eligibility criteria. So eligibility for proctored assessments will be purely based on satisfying the criteria below and the criteria is work performance. So you should either have the appraisal band A or B just in case if you have the appraisal band as C then you are not eligible for this Wings 1 and also if you were unallocated and in that duration also you might have got your band as C then also you are not eligible. So there are some cases where the freshers or some candidates do not get a band and instead they get an anniversary rating. So if you have an anniversary rating as 4 or 5 then you are eligible for this drive. Okay, so here they have mentioned only for associates who have joined after April 2022 and who are yet to receive performance band. So only for those associates who doesn't have received the performance band and they have only got the anniversary rating. So for them anniversary rating is applicable. Now let's see all the latest changes that has been done in the uh, Wings 1 SOP. So the first change is pass or distinction in articulation track has been added as a prerequisite for digital milestone. So till uh, like till now uh, there was no such prerequisite like you have to have a pass or distinction in articulation track but from now on it is kind of a prerequisite for the digital milestone next is oracle or pl sql has been removed from the programming core programming track so till now there were one or two tracks related to oracle or pl sql that is removed now so if you are preparing for that you no longer can give that exam so you have to select any other core programming track next change is the self declaration path is removed and only the learning or direct path is there for completing the assessment eligibility prerequis uh, prerequisite of any track so now they have also removed the self declaration path and now you only have the option of learning or direct path next is domain learning is introduced where one domain learning must be completed not necessary to take up the proctored assessment on or before 30th of november 2023 so there is something called as domain learning which is introduced so uh, and you also have to complete one learning uh, do one domain learning there would be an option to register for only two tracks from all the below categories in every assessment cycle excluding articulation so there are categories like core full stack core programming and business skills so you can register only for one track in all these categories so previously there were options to register for more than one track but from now on you can only register for one track in these categories so i understand that these changes are complex to understand and just in case if you have any doubt related to any of these changes i am just creating this video just for this purpose only so that you can comment down your doubts and i will answer all your doubts if needed i will create a separate video where I will discuss all the doubts that we have on the comment section of this video. So these were the updates or the changes that they have introduced uh, which will be applicable from November cycle. Okay. So now let's see the dashboard update. So this is the latest dashboard screenshots which I have taken. So you can see in step one that external certification option is now no longer there. So that is removed. So that is the major change previously what used to happen is if you have you if you have external certification and you upload that this step one will be marked as green for you but now you you no longer have that option so you what you have to do is you have to either do core programming tag or core full stack track so you have to clear out any one out of these and in step two you have to clear any one out out of the following like articulation business process core full stack core programming tag and unit elective so in step two we have unit elective still option is there so 
uh, as i have already said i have explained all these steps and all in a separate video which i will leave the link in the description box once you will have a look at that video you will understand all these steps in detail next let's talk about this update which they have recently shared so in one of the nomi post wings community have shared this detail like dear associate the candidates who have their anniversary rating as 4 or 5 will be eligible to appear for wings 1 november 2023 cycle associates who have anniversary rating below 4 would not be eligible so i think this is already covered in the eligibility criteria as always but this time they have uh, posted a separate post for this so maybe it's not like previously they used to say all the candidates joining after april and have the rating as four or five they are only eligible but this time they have not mentioned that so i think anyone who don't have a band and have a anniversary rating of four and five are all eligible for wings one november cycle let's make it simple and understand in this way so if you have your band so you just have to see the band only first of all and in band two you have you should have a or b if you have c or any below than that then you are not eligible so if you have a and b then only you are eligible and now you have you can have one more question like what if i don't have the band so if you don't have the band you will surely have the anniversary rating so if you have anniversary rating as four and five then only you are eligible so the first criteria is band and in just in case if you don't have band you have to see your anniversary rating so i hope now it is very clear for everyone just in case if you still have more doubts related to the eligibility criteria let me know in the comment section because i can understand this is very complex process that they have made this time and they have made a lot of changes first of all so please make sure that you are preparing according to these changes it should not be like you are preparing for plsql track and the uh, and then later on you get to know that they have just removed this track only so your entire preparation will go in uh, vain so that's why just prepare accordingly according to this latest updates and if you have any doubts let me know in the comment section and uh, make sure to join me on telegram and instagram i have instagram uh, id where you can even ask the questions in dm just in case if you are not getting the answers in the comment section of this video you can even ask the questions in dm and make sure to subscribe to the channel to receive all the latest and regular updates thanks for watching the video